Hey everyone, this is Grace. Hope you've been well in the short time that I just posted the previous video, right? I want to share with you my next set of cards that arrived. This is from Bridget Murray. And for those of you who've been following my channel for a while, you know um, Bridget tries to participate in, um, you know, the f card fundraisers that I have. And so this, I think, I think Bridget, correct me if I'm wrong, I think you've participated in every single card fundraiser that I've held have you not anyway so in my mind Bridget does some really great painting and she has kind of a um, like signature style like in the back you'll see it here and then this is from Kim Olson so I um, can't wait to share with you this is Kim's first time participating in um, the card fundraiser and so just I love seeing the different styles that you know women create so anyway um, this is the beautiful card that she made me and so pretty. Thank you so much, Kim. And on the inside, um, she um, wrote me this really beautiful um, card. And she did say, you know, please don't enter me in the giveaway as God has already blessed me with so much that I'd rather see it go to someone else. But this is what I usually do, Kim, when um, my friends tell me that they don't want to be entered and, you know, they just say they want to take part in it I do enter you still so that if you do win then I give you the option of paying it forward to someone else so you can just select one of the other you know participants or you can choose to um, like I can mail it to you and then you can choose to pay it forward to someone else in your life so um, that's the way I usually like to do the giveaway so even though people say don't enter me I usually do <laughs> I know I know so I'm such a contrary person in that way, huh? But anyway, thank you so much for this beautiful card. And I love this scripture verse. Let me read this for um, those of you who can't see it very well. It's scripture from Luke 12, verse 27. Look at the lilies of the field and how they grow. If God cares so wonderfully for flowers, he will certainly care for you. Amen. So thank you so much for this beautiful reminder. Um... I am being constantly surrounded by beautiful scripture and beautiful souls who remind me of beautiful and encouraging scripture. So thank you so much for that. Now, <clears throat> I want to share something with you all because, you know, I've been going on and on about how much I appreciate the time and care that all of you put into these cards. She put an inside message on each of these. Can you believe that? Oh, I'm so flabbergasted because this would take a long time just even to do and then much less. So thank you so much, Kim. This is so cute. There's like a little accent there. Silent night, holy night. And what's in, um, funny is these are the type of cards my mother would love <laughs> because um, she was looking through some of the Santa Claus um cards oh this is so cute and she was saying what's with all these santa clauses because for her christmas is all about baby jesus oh these are so cute joy to the world oh yeah oh my goodness i just realized you got this from the may make um selection i think it was the joy one right so cute i love that sentiment actually oh this is nice these happy birthdays are so pretty hooray literally the two moms that i was telling you about in the previous video they were looking specifically for birthday cards and i had just told some of you in the another video that my mother had run out of birthday cards and she was really looking forward to um the card fundraiser because she was saying oh birthday cards birthday cards so so pretty so unfortunately for my mother she has not seen the bulk of the cards that have come in um i think time wise with her and me we just didn't have that time to sit down so because you know how sometimes i like to give her first dibs at the cards um well, it's so pretty um so anyway she only got to see some of agnes's cards and so she picked out um i think she ended up buying about $25 worth of cards already but um, <laughs> since I'm filming this on the weekday 
um, I may end up letting her take a peek at some of these cards so that she could see some more if she wants. But wise men still seek him. Oh, that's so nice. Did you stamp this? Oh, no. I think it's it's a um, print. Oh, these are so nice. Yep, Jesus is the reason for the season. I told you guys, right? My brother-in-law and sister-in-law... They did away with Christmas in terms of presents. So on Christmas Day, they don't open presents. They just celebrate Jesus' birthday, which I think is pretty cool. Um, but they still receive Christmas gifts. I don't want you guys to think that my sister and brother-in-law are mean parents. They just let the kids open the presents as they come in. So that on Christmas morning, there's not really Christmas presents that they open. They just celebrate Jesus' birthday. So it's like a little cake and stuff. But yeah, I think they recently um, did this. They did it last year because prior to that, when they were really little, they would do Christmas morning, you know, presents. But oh, these are so nice. Kim, these are so, so nice. Thank you so much for sending these. Oh, so I will count those and put the count in the description bar. Um, incidentally, for those of you who are watching the Mary Ann um, um, card video, some of you may have realized that I miscounted. Thank you so much um, for catching the error because in the process of counting, I was like three, six, nine, twelve, and then I don't know what it was, but my mind decided to go on vacation. And from 12, I went 13, 14 instead of doing 15 and 18. So I have fixed that. And yeah, but anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for catching that. All right. Now this is Bridget's. Um, and look how cute. I do love my gorgeous girls. So she created a gorgeous girl belly band, you guys. Hold on. Let me take it out. Oh, I don't want to ruin the belly band. Isn't that so cute? So she die cut, like pieced it together. And then there's like a shimmer on the um, hat here. So, so cute, Bridget. And she always decorates her envelopes. And so this one, she chose little kids. So I love that. All right. And then <laughs> I love this card that she created. Oh, so <clears throat> this is what I have come to associate with her in terms of like, a lot of um, acrylic paint in, as background, and then she took some of that and cut, die cut that out. But look, she took some fabric, found a little doggy one, and this kind of looks a little bit like Bentley, who incidentally is sleeping about two feet away from me. But, oh, isn't that so cute? Thank you so much, Bridget. You know what I decided to do, and I was inspired by a um, Hallmark um, ad circular? Hallmark apparently has this, um, I'm going to open Bridget's pack because it's taped. Um, sorry about the crinkling. But Hallmark had this little, um, like, wood kind of plank thing that said, like, Season's Greetings or something. And it had holes in it, and they basically ribboned the Season's collection of Christmas cards. And I thought, that is so nice. So when I'm done displaying... Um, cards what I decided to do was I would just create of course once my little turtley butt gets you know going um, but create laminated covers for say like birthday cards that you guys sent me and then Christmas cards that you guys sent me so this is definitely even though it says hello um, Bridget um, had wished me um, happy holidays Merry Christmas good you know health and all of that and then I'll include this as well I'm in that. So anyway, I thought I would share that with you. We'll see if, you know, how long it takes me to get on that little craft. But this is what she created, the first one. I love the little gumdrops. Thank you. Oh, And look, she even has a little sticker that says Dylan's Candy Bar. And then, so two of these. And then, oh, Merry Christmas. Oh, these are so nice. And then look, a gorgeous girl. That's such a great idea. Stick the gorgeous girl in the little mug. Although, 
<laughs> then it makes me feel like a little giant that I'm going to be drinking the gorgeous girl. But this is so cute. It's almost like the little girl's playing in a big, huge, you know, teacup. And I love the little um, tree because it's got little flatback jewels on them. And then this here. So many different elements. And then she did the same thing with gingerbread man. Oh, and this is nice. Peace. And the Merry Christmas. And then Happy Holidays. Really pretty. And you guys see, this is like classic Bridget in my mind. She's got that nice background. Merry Christmas. Noel. Oh, these are really beautiful, Bridget. And then she did thanks card here. And then another thank you card. And then Happy Holidays card. So thank you so much. Certainly Bridget and Kim, you guys, yeah, thank you so much. I hope those of you who are watching it got some really great ideas in terms of layering or using dimensions or different elements. Um, thank you. And I don't think either of these ladies actually have YouTube channels. I'll double check. But if they don't, I, I will just... You know, just leave the standard um, description down below. Otherwise, I try to link the YouTube channel down um, so that you can click on it if you want to check it out. So, anyway, this is the next two sets. Believe it or not, I still have a good three videos, I think. No, three more packages to go through. So, I shall be back. Thank you again, Bridget and Kim. And for those of you who are continuing to support, um, the fundraiser as well as this YouTube channel. I really do appreciate it. So like subscribe and I'll see you later. God bless. Bye